Well, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. As always, give a like, thumbs up, subscribe, share. <sighs> got transmission back in and got all three gears. And I'll show you in a second here what I did with the kick down cable because I went with a cable instead of the rod. Still got finagling to do on the throttle cable there. She's a little stiff because it's kind of kind of cranes around all different directions behind the motor here, so. Oh, neighbor's dog barking. Somebody's coming down the road. I can hear it. We'll let them pass. UPS. But anyway, so throttle's really stiff, and I'm not quite getting full throttle yet, so got to work on that. And but I'm pretty content with the kick down cable for now. Um, seems to be working. Like I said, we got all three gears, it downshifts, so it does everything it's supposed to. Now, I'll bring you in here and I'll show you what we did. See, I went with a cable from a newer truck, uh, what was it 94 to 01, something like that. It has the cable, the adjustable cable. And I used the same bracket on the back of the transmission. But I went up here, had to drill a hole for the throttle cable. But it's working. I got some tinkering to do, put the PVC valve on and everything else. PCV valve. But she lives. And I'll clip in video here to show you up and down the road a little bit. There's the other project. Uh, swing in here. Uh, yep, yep, yep. As you can see, we got 69, uh, not 69, 68 Mustang in here. I junk in my way here. I got to finish cleaning up. So I had to get that on, get the hood on, get it pushed out. Well, and push it outside. I actually was able to drive it outside, drive it up and down the road. But I had to get that out of the way to get this in. You'll see more of this car. It's going to be its own video series here. And as you can see on the floor here, we have, I think it's from S&W, uh, eight and a half point cage system. And we got to do something a little different with the door bars and different seats that are going to end up going in this and whatnot. But... We'll do more of this car later. It is not my car, by the way. Um, just somebody I've known for a long time and my brother's known for a long time. So I might end up actually putting the TIG set up on my welder there, getting TIG set up. I had one before and it was stolen from me at auction, but that's neither here nor there, but maybe I'll have to buy another one and make it a little easier on myself instead of Meg so we can get a cleaner look. Um, so we're going to do the cage in this. And like I said, I'm going to do get more of this car. It's going to be its own series. Um, like I said, he's doing it kind of as, eh, kind of like an Eleanor. I don't know if he's going with that color and stuff, but he's putting the GT 500 stuff on it. And got like the Eleanor style wheels. Like I said, you'll see more of it later. Like I said, I got some tinkering around here to do. Um, my hose kind of pinched off here, so I'm going to have to replace this. Pinch it off too hard. It's kind of pulling a vacuum, and it's sucking the hose shut as it cools down. So we'll take care of that. Little things, little things. Like I said, and the throttle cable as well. So 
Um, I think that's about it. Quick little update on a Saturday. Piecemeal runs and drives. Has all three gears now. Something it hasn't had since the Slant 6 was in. It's still a hybrid transmission where it's got pieces of both. Um, I ended up disassembling it again before I put it back in the car and went back over because I'm pretty sure that other converter, that other torque converter was bad. So it's got the Slant 6 torque converter back in it with the front input shaft and front dr drum assembly. Um, and that's it. I said I got more more stuff to do here. Ugh. We got to dial in the carburetor. I think the four barrels are opening a little too soon. So kind of get that got has that hiccup. I don't like. It shouldn't have, but it could be ignition related too. But we gotta make those headers that I cut apart fit. Get them in here, and then we can. I don't want to go dialing on the ignition or the carburetor too much and getting my fingers all in there. And well, it's all going to change when I put the headers on it. So I'm going to wait till I get the headers. I'm not really going to drive it around much because obviously the other rear end, the eight and a quarter that's in the back, is not in the car yet. It still has the seven and a quarter. It survived for a couple burnouts at least. So that's a plus. I had Lizard help me put the hood on quick. Kind of got underneath the latch in the back here, so we got our little chip. No biggie. There's a chip here, and there's a chip here from before, but we'll square it away. For right now, it's kind of going to go over to the side, and then as I work on it, I'll just be doing it outside here instead of inside because we got to work on that, so... Every time I clip in everything. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, battle dart. Yeah, good old battle dart sitting back there. Got a flat tire. One of my fix me right plugs work loose. Came out on the boy the other day because he had to borrow it, had to tow his Prius back. Seen a clip. And. One of the plugs came out. I have other plugs. I got to put it back in because I'm not ready to yet to swap that tire. Well, I haven't had time, so. And it ain't free, you know. So we're getting there. Little by little. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. I'm going to move this over in front of next to the wife's car over there. No, I thought about it, but I didn't.